Hi guys, Gabrielle here, product expert at Air Compressors Direct, coming at you with another Q&A video. Today we're going to be talking about variable speed rotary screw units. We're going to be talking about what they are and exactly how they work. So let's start off with talking about the variable speed technology. Um, variable speed machines, they differ from fixed speed machines uh, simply for the fact that variable speed units actually regulate the voltage and frequency that is coming into the motor. So basically, variable speed units are going to be able to adjust the voltage and the frequency based on the air demand, which actually increases the efficiency of the unit. So some advantages of variable speed units besides the efficiency behind it, um, you have a lot of potential for high energy savings due to the fact that these are going to be in shops where uh, air demands have high fluctuations. Uh, these units are a heck of a lot quieter um, than your fixed speed unit due to the fact that they do run at a lower RPM. Also, they will have an increased component life. Um, due to the fact that the compressor is not always running exactly like a fixed speed and the unit is, does run and adjust, for instance, based on the air demand. Um, these units do have a lot higher upfront cost behind them uh, as well, but again, with them being so efficient, um, you are going to see that repayment um, just in energy savings itself over time. Uh, these units are not always for every application, though. And with variable speed units, it is now coming across into the reciprocating air compressor line. So some of these units, what they do is they actually have an air demand sensor um, engineered onto the reciprocating air compressor, which will automatically change the speed of the pump, which then obviously will change the air output for you. This technology brings um, variable speed to more applications where a rotary unit may not be the best fit still, but you do have that fluctuating air demand. If you need some more help on this and you're unsure if a variable speed unit is going to be best for your application, please go ahead. Do not hesitate. Give us a call. Check out our website. You can submit a Q&A there where we can answer your questions. Also, if you want to learn just a little bit more about the differences between a variable speed unit and fixed speed, visit our how-to library on our website and the article definitely goes into more detail for you. And as always, we really appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching.